when the game originally first came out, there were tricks possible with the joystick that hadn't been performed really in real life at all. And people thought were never possible. And then now skaters do them in real life. That, it, that, that still boggles my mind. The stuff that I see people come up with, especially with the combos, I mean, it is just THPS as far as I'm concerned. And when we were doing those combos and when we made those tricks available in the game, it was because we thought, oh, this is just fantasy. And now they do it. And now they do it, yeah. Did you uh, approach the remastering with that in mind too? Are there new tricks in the game that maybe we'll see in the streets down the road? I think potentially always, yes. Mm Mm-hmm. That's cool. I'm, I'm Now I'm down. I, I mean, I'm playing this no matter what, but this is going to be one of those everyone downloads on day one kind of thing. And, and I, I get it. The nostalgia, this is my entire college life. So I'm, I'm thrilled. Oh, well, hey, I'm, I'm so thankful that people have such a, a fondness for our series that they want to see it come back. Yeah. Um, I'm thankful that Activision was agreeable to, to try and remaster it and, uh, and that they put Vicarious Visions on. I mean, that, that really was that was the clinch is that when vicarious visions got a hold of it they have such respect for the original series and to keep it at feeling the same and the authenticity and and it was just the right partnership yeah you don't see them calling tony la russa to bring back tony la russa baseball this is this is a classic game with tony hawk and i know there was a documentary that was going around festivals before covid about the game are we going to be able to see that soon I believe so. I think they got a distribution deal. I, I am not um, directly connected with that either, which is sort of hard for people to understand yeah. because it was made by one of the um, guys who was on the development team. Oh, wow. So he was definitely qualified to tell the story. And I heard they just got a distribution deal. I don't know where it's going to end up, but I, I hope that people get to see it. I mean, when you first signed on to this game, I mean, you became a bit of a John Madden, which is like you are a a hundred percent the face of video games for skateboarding, same way Madden is for football. Like, did you ever think it could have been a phenomenon? No, I, I really thought that the game was going to be embraced by skaters and maybe inspire them to go buy a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. And because I, we, you know, I thought we we represented skating well. It had an authentic feel, tricks, soundtrack, skaters, locations, and skating was not that big at the time when we released it. You know, it was on the way up, but it but it hadn't really hit the mainstream. And so I think it was just sort of the perfect storm. People were looking for something else. They found that this was fun to play, even if you don't skate. Yeah. And then skating was starting to take center stage, like with the X Games, Mm -hmm. and it just exploded from there. And the gameplay, man, the gameplay was just so easy. It was like a pick up and play kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what drew me to it in the first place. When I went to Activision the first time and played their sample, it was intuitive. I was immediately doing ollies and kickflips, and I and it was like, oh, this this is how we should do it. 